Okay, here's the fuel gauge sending unit circuit on the bench live. Uh, just want to caution you if you're going to try this or you need to figure something out this way. Uh, watch where you're sending your voltage. If you send voltage into this item right here, this rheostat, you'll melt the wire and then you're going to have to go buy something. So, everything seems to be working like it should. Uh, the reason I set this up is it might be helpful. Oh, here, just let me show you the diagram. I know that's what you want to see. Uh, there's the battery. You can see B plus is going into the gauge. Coming out of the gauge goes to the top of the sending unit. Like that one. And then the sending unit is grounded. What tripped me up the first time is this right here. Uh, you got to ground your gauge up also to complete the circuit. What I learned here to help you troubleshoot real quick. As you can see the gauge here is grounded. If you lose your ground on the gauge, it goes to empty. If you lose the ground on the sending unit, I'm just going to pull this off, it goes to full. So if your gauge is reading full all the time, I'd start with the ground on the sending unit. And if it's reading empty all the time, just check the ground on the gauge. That's the simplest place to start.